if you vegan food explorers today we have got an awesome shootout between two vegan no beef wellington let's get into the video don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe as it really helps the channel okay so today we've got two vegan wellingtons to battle it off and i've had both of them on different days and um, but i'm definitely clear on which i prefer so let's start with this plant pioneers from sainsbury's no beef wellington so it's normally three pounds we actually got it for a bargain which one ninety nine because it was on offer and um, so i was really really excited by this i love the plant pioneers ranges and i think they've done a massive like great job especially at christmas rolling them out all across and um, with loads of different products so this is just one of the newest ones especially for christmas that i wanted to try so taking it out of the oven yeah it cut really well pastry great you get a lot um, it's supposed to serve three, but, so we split it into three, but actually ate, ate, it, ate all of it for just two people in the end. Look how much meat you get. It was really, really impressive. And the pastry, perfect. Crispy, and then loads of meat inside. And also it's got that kind of like stuffing bit around the meat. Looks great. Not necessarily look like a beef wellington inside, but I mean, you get the idea, don't you? Um, so yeah, so this would be a great great this would be especially made for being a main like a, a centerpiece main for a big roast vegan roast dinner or as it was actually made for for christmas day as an alternative a vegan alternative so it better be good so the smells coming out of the oven were amazing um and like i said yeah the pastry texture all great however the flavor was just it was really weird uh, what we found out when looking at the ingredients it had horseradish in and I, personally I think it had way too much horseradish so that some bits you had no horseradish and suddenly you got this massive bang and it, well, I like horseradish but it tasted really artificial and not good at all so it almost was unedible actually by the end of it so I, I wouldn't recommend this um, as much as it pains me to say I think they maybe need to tone down the amount of horseradish in, it added and then also just mix it up better in the in the vegan meat pro, um, bit at the start so when they're making that mixture make sure it's mixed up more 199 wasn't worth it and and it was actually a little unpleasant at the end um, even though I was so excited <laughs> All right, so that was the Plant Pioneers. Let's get on with the Wicked Kitchen. So this is the Wicked Wellington from Wicked Kitchen, which is sold by Tesco's. So yeah, again, I had high hopes for this. It looks awesome, looks like just the real thing. I, I personally rate Wicked Kitchen very, very highly. I I don't think I've ever had a bad bad product from them. Some of them are definitely out there, like they got different beetroot uh, wraps and things like that, but they all taste really good. So yeah, so again, let's chuck it in. Um, a lot of these have pea protein in, which is something that I sometimes find a bit weird, but personally, I think the texture was great, um, especially in the Saints one. So, and also the texture in this was, was really good. You can see this was kind of slightly different. It was more, I think more solidly wrapped. So you can see here, it's, it was more evenly wrapped than the Plant Pioneers. So when we cut it open again, I mean, the smell was incredible. You can see, kind of we added some oil in here anyway but it's really moist so inside again loads of meat and i have to say this was a whole world apart from the plant pioneers it was i've got to say definitely top three but maybe the best ever vegan substitute i've ever had um and yeah check it out on our instagram page but it was incredible it tasted just like the real thing so if you're looking for a wicked wellington it's got to be the wicked wellington